Yeah, hey, uh, Spirited Spring, uh, good good finish to uh, what's been 15 really good practices for us. We got a long way to go. Um, I think every team in the country is that way. But uh, it was fun to get out here and celebrate a little bit with our fans and families. And um, you know, we'll get back to work on Monday, uh, continuing on this journey. But was pleased with the progress we made. Felt like we took some strides today. Just have a lot of work ahead of us. I'll open up for questions. From where we sit, it looks like the offense was pretty good. The defense struggled. Is that what you saw as well? Uh, it's just the circumstances and the context. I mean, I, I think the defense has had a really good spring. You know, they really pulled back on some of their um, their, their play menu. Just uh, there's no need to show everything. I thought the offense found a rhythm today, and I think that they've kind of been building to that. And, you know, um, I was pleased with the offense. I, I would have liked to have seen some better responses on defense at times, but sometimes the context can hold them back too. So I don't want to read too far into it. I think the defense had a great spring, was really pleased with the rhythm the offense found, and uh, lo looking to both learn on the defensive side from the things that we can shore up and then build on the momentum from the offense. A lot of work from your quarterbacks today. Can you just kind of go into what you thought about, about the three of them? I was pleased with yeah. all three. I thought at times all three showed the ability to, to move the ball. I thought, um, you know, uh, Mike obviously made some plays with his legs. I think um, I think all, th all three would – I was about to see Moose pull the ball and score a touchdown. That was, uh, that was awesome. And then, um, you know, they, they were just – I think they, they would have played another game if they could have. So, it's the right attitude they have. I, I thought we saw the ability of each of them to throw, to win throwing, to win running. And um, you know, we just got to continue that competition, a healthy competition through the fall. But pleased with the progress. Thought today was a good day for them. Can a second quarterback have a role? Can a second quarterback be utilized in your offense, you think? There's a role for anyone that can help us move the football. And so um, I, would, I would say yes. Um, but, you know, before even getting to that point, I, I, I want to really dig into this competition in fall camp because I want to give opportunity for guys to separate themselves. I mean, I'm not looking for this to be a shared position, but ultimately when we line up and play an opponent, I'm looking for whatever pieces give us the best, put us in the best position to win. How have you seen Mike Wright uh, develop his passion this spring? I think that he's developed, Coach Lynch has done a great job with him. He's a, he's a willing learner. I think mechanically he's come a long way. Um, his ball is flying different right now, uh, which is great to see. And then we know he also has that component of, of moving uh, moving the ball with his legs too. So um, pleased with some of his connections today in the pass game. Thought he got us going early, uh, and um, you know he's got a lot to build on from, from this spring. The uh, previous staff had Cole Clemens inside and Tyler Steen at tackle. You you guys have flipped them. What went into that decision? It, it's the same idea. I mean, we don't really. It's. It, each of those positions is evolving and revolving, and we want to find the best mix, find the strengths of each player, identify those strengths, and put them in a position to be protected and to help us move the ball. You know, and so um, Coach Blazik does a great job of coaching that unit conceptually. He's he's always kind of keep an eye on the, the things that uh, they do really well, the things you need to work on, and trying to position them to, to help us win. You, uh, some coaches use spring and things like this as an experiment to just try things and see where they go. Was this an experiment or more of a, that's the direction you're leaning with that switch? More about like, we have time, we want to see what the best combination is, uh -huh. and um, you know, we'll look at how they perform today and go into the summer, but I'm sure there'll be, there'll be elements of moving them around in fall camp too. Um, and part of it is positional flexibility. I mean, ultimately, over the course of the uh, season, you're going you're gonna to lose guys here and there. How you fill those gaps uh, means that some guy may move inside or some guy may move outside. Just to have that flexibility is, is strategically advantage. We did today from Will Shepard. What have you seen from him this spring? Flashes. You know, he's trying to find a level of consistency. Um, he's got, he's got, you know, um, athletic skills and tools. Um, he's a young player that's that's coming into his own, and he's got to keep growing. I was I was proud of the day he had today, um, and uh, those flashes represent what what could be from him. But you know, the hardest thing to do as a competitor is find consistency, and that. That's uh, that's going to be um, you know need to be a focus for him as he goes into work in May. Guys, thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate your support all spring. It's been great to have you guys here. Look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Good practices. Okay.